Okay, here we are at Boromir. Boromir. Hey, buddy. Hey. Can't you see I'm busy? Yeah, you look busy. God job for you, kid. If you're ready to raid with the big boys. You know what drives me crazy? Sprigs. The way they wander around is stupid. It's hard for us to get any work done. That's where you come in. What did I do? Oh. On the shore northeast of Lake Tunapre are a few sprig dens. If you look around a bit, you should find plenty of grain sacks. Okay, um, raid those flies. That's what you'll do. Sprigs may be stupid, but they're relentless about stockpiling food. Check the dens around Lake to Popre for their grain sacks. Won't those sprigs starve for those sprigs? Don't worry about sprigs. A hungry sprig gathers food even faster. Call it motivation if you like. Sprigs are cowards, so they won't confront a mage like you. Feel free to use them for target practice. Don't get too bloodthirsty, though. Remember, while you're there, sacks of sprig grain. Bring me three sacks, as you wish. Go get, um... Go get our grain. Oh, pink hair seems to be very popular among the ladies. I think I should have gone with blue. Oh well. Too late now. Well, I can always change it once I get uh, to a city. Change my hair color. <laughs> Go to a salon. <laughs> hey, no book. I'm glad you're here. Thanks. Um, thanks, Zico. You're here. We've got a serious problem. It's Ray. The boss's kid she's missing and we need to find her before Old Gorn does something rash. Yesterday she said she was going for a walk in the Manili Forest. And no one's seen her since. Nobody noticed until she didn't show up for breakfast. When I checked her room I found a note on her bed. It said she wants to be a real raider, not just the boss's little girl. I showed the note to Old Gorn and he turned positively pale. She disappeared before. Oh, Raid's always putting herself in harm's way and pestering us to take her along on raids. If we refuse, she tags along anyway. The boss don't want this life for her. Old Gorn wants her to stay in camp, study her books, and make a better life for herself. She's got Raider's blood, you know. You can see her father's glint in her eyes. Makes me kind of nervous. So, she went to... Manili Forest. Looks that way. She probably just got lost in the forest, but with her knack for finding trouble. Start by checking with Dabby. He oversees the tree sap extraction at the edge of the forest. If the kid headed that way, Dabby might have seen her. And hurry, Willow Silver Song. Old Gord's pretty good at hiding his feelings, but it's only a matter of time before he does something drastic. On my way, and I need to see Dabby anyway, I'm pretty sure. I need sap, don't I? On my way! Oh, you got another quest? I'm glad you're here. Okie doke. Oh, my weary aching bones. Not so long ago, I had a spry- I was a sprightly young lad who could handle just about anything thrown at my way. <laughs> now it takes me days to recover from the simplest task. It's this job. I tell you, looking after that Ray kid, she's a handful. She's got a mean right hook. Wolcorn doesn't want her following in his footsteps, but she's her father's daughter, that's for sure. Look at these bruises. Sounds like you need a healing potion. Yeah, but they ain't cheap, and I ain't made a Kina well of Silver Song. I got options, though. One of a few... One of the few raiders old Urk talks to... She told me about a local healing remedy made with Asva. You can use the herbs to make a quick healing potion. Yeah, I knew that. That's why I gathered a whole bunch of it. <laughs> Grows naturally around here, but lately it's been hard to come by. It's because people like me have been snatching it up. I think I see where this is going. You want me to go gather Asva? 
Yeah. Well, my back's in knots and I'm in agony. I need someone to replenish my stocks of asthma so I can make more of this potion. Will you help me out? Hmm. Well, I get three potions. Okay, I accept. Thanks, I owe you one. The asthma usually grows in the leafy areas around here. I'd check near Lake Tenafere or the Manili Forest. I'll be back. I can't thank you enough. Oh, that was easy. I'm glad you're here. Here you go. Uh -huh. Thanks. Uh -huh. uh, oh, and I still have 14 left. Yay. Oh, and I changed I changed my recording button to uh, forward slash, so this won't be a problem. There, let's just hide those extra slots, shall we? And... Let's go! Oh, wow, he has really pink hair. It's hot pink. Makes my hair look almost red. I like that color. Oh, wait, I'm getting distracted. What am I supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to gather grain sacks... Talk to Derek. Get some oil from the web slinks. Deliver a message. And get some feathers. Okie dokie. Oh, there's some more Asva. There's more Asva. We must gather Asva. Hey, buddy. I'm not gonna make you watch me gather. Hee hee, we'll be back. Okay. Gather that. Let's go get our green sacks. Oh, wait, there's another Asva. <laughs> oh, we'll get the green sacks first. I'll be good. I'll be good. Oh, there is a Quowoo. Hey, Quowoo. Quowoo. With green sacks. Here's a green tag. Nope. I think there's competition for the green sacks. Yep. Looks like we have a little green sack competition going on. All us pink haired asmos. Well, I'll kill some uh, slinks while I wait. Ooh. Or I'll go over here. Here we go. Oops, someone already took it. Okay, let's kill some web slinks. Make sure I'm far enough away. Nope, not you. I want to slink. Back up. Minimum safe distance. Wrong target. Oof. Get him. Can I get him? Ooh. I ran the wrong way. That was almost terrible. You. You look relatively not so... Yeah. Kill you. Deal my fire! Woo! And again! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Hurry up! Oh! Whew! Okay. There. Got my... I'm oil sacks. Ooh, there's grain. Let's get this while we're here. Take it. I'll take it. 
These guys done gathering their grain sacks? Yep, think so. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Oop. Now I need... I need feathers. I need feathers. Here we go. Sure are pretty. That's an invalid Oof. target. The old scroll is untradeable. Sure, okay. What is it? Quest item. Double click to begin a quest. Okay. You found a small note neatly folded in wax paper and tied together with string. After a quick examination, you find Dear Olgorn written in neat handwriting on the underside. This note was clearly meant for Olgorn, boss of the raiders. You should take it to him. Okay. Dearest Elgorn, when I became a raider, you were there to welcome me with a smile. I was nervous about starting a new life, but you erased all those doubts with your confidence. I welcome the Elgorn Raiders with your confident welcome to the Elgorn Raiders. I didn't know it then, but that was when I started to fall in love with you. Should I keep reading? Uh, we'll keep it private. This might be time. Let's um, let's take it to Ilborn. Oop! Get him away, Lily Pad. Let's go take it to him. Let's take him his letter. Oh look, there's a mentor. Hi, mentor. <laughs> that was back before you could make character. Well, you could make characters small, but not as small as us. A lot of people make great big, great big characters too. <laughs> Where's Olgorn? There he is. Hey, buddy. Give my gold. Yes. Speak up. Nope. I think this is yours. Where did you get this? This letter. It takes me back to some dark time. Back to places I'd rather not return. Oh no. You had no way of knowing, of course. But I wish you never found that letter. Tell no one else. Take the note back to Liver. Lin Linver. Tell her that this all too soon. The memories of my former wife are still fresh in my mind. The task is mine. Yay! Okay. We're gonna go ahead and uh, drop off this oil while we're here. Hey, Bakunir. Hey, buddy. Chugos always know a good. Deal. Of course they do. <laughs> Back so soon, Mage. No trouble getting the shink oil, I hope. The boss is asking Berkner how work is progressing. Please give the oil. Here, all the oil you need. Good. I see that you're the most reliable ranger. I'll use the oil to make a better cube as beautiful as when it was created. Then promotion. Here's your reward, mage. Not much, but the boss does, did not pay much. I promise. Yeah, I bet you do, Shugo. Nyerk! <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, Shugos. Shugo, Shugo, Shugos. Let's give, uh, Boromir's grain. Because we're here. Oh, the sun's setting. 
Hey, buddy. Can't you see I'm busy? Yes, you look very busy. All right, well, Silver Song killed some sprigs, did you? More to the point, got the grain sacks. Hand them over. Those sacks need to be on the next caravan north to more settled lands. Three sacks, just as you asked. Well done. I watched you out there. You seem to be able to take a little punishment. Not really. I'm squishy. I'm a cloppy. Always a good trait for a raider. Too many city recruits can't condition out, but can't take it. Even the sprigs are starting to realize some of our guys aren't as tough as our veterans. And Old Gore himself are getting aggressive. And there's so many of them. They'll be, we'll be in trouble if we don't do something. We need the sprigs to fear us once more. Are you for more raiding? As you wish. As I wish? That's city talk. From a raider, I expect to hear the task is mine, or at least on the way. Followed by the sound of your footsteps. Let me say it like Olgorn would. You can try again. You can try again. Go back to the sprig dens around Lake Tanapra. Kill six sprig gatherers in cold blood. So fear and destruction in your wake. Blood for blood. Um, on my way. <laughs> Let's go kill some gatherers. Wee! Woo! Oh, she didn't do it. There she goes. That's a good girl, Willow. <laughs> Let's go kill some sprig gatherers and try not to get hurt. <laughs> do do oop, there's one. I see one. Shh, be quiet. I'm not as brave as he thinks I am. How about you? From a distance. Woo, okay. There's another one. We're gonna back up a little bit though. I'm just gonna back up a little bit. Okay. 24 is distance. Come on, come get it. Stay right there, buddy. Whew. Okay, don't get too far away, buddy. Come on. Hurry up. Cast it. Probably something. Oh, not my way. Come on. Die. Woo. Ding. You're a little too close. Look at you. That's the wrong. Oh, did I critify him? Oh, she hit him. I'm oh, sorry. 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 Okay, we did some more gathering. And I'm gonna go back and get the last of my feathers that I need. So let's target target this guy here. Yeah! Come on. Again, again, again! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Okay. I wonder if this has a named bird like um like the Elios one. If so, I'm gonna try and get my um get my beads off it. I bet there is. I'm sure there probably is. Nice, that's a pretty tree, isn't it? Does it remind anybody of anything? <laughs> I wonder if this tree reminds anyone of anything. <gasps> Hello. Okay. We got a quest. Let's pick up this quest. Hey, Bolier. As for Lumbra, friend. As for Lumbra. Oh, what should I do? Come on, Bolier, get a grip! Oh... Did you know that every year in Lake Tunapre, the most precious and beautiful flowers bloom? Gaze upon the lake and you'll see 
Afrom flower. One of Isilgin's few things of beauty. That's not the only remarkable thing about this place, though. Look to the cell. Over there on the dock. There are other beauties here, too. Girl on the dock? Yes, more beautiful than any flower. Her name is Neji. You know, I only joined Urgol's raiders so that I might be closer to her. I'm not exactly fighting material. She's right there. And I'm a wreck. Every time I try and talk to Neji, I mumble some nonsense. I panic or freeze. Last time I got tangled up my own fishing line and fell in the lake. She probably thinks I'm an idiot. What can I do? Uh, give her a gift, perhaps? Only fitting gift for someone as beautiful as Neji would be a bouquet of amphora flowers. But I'm too scared to go into the lake. Got a bit by a slink last week and those irons always run towards me like they're gonna peck my eyes out! Like I said, I'm not much of a raider. Shame on me, right? But you're braver than I am, though. Have pity on a fool in love. Gather some flowers for me. Well, it's only XP, but sure, I'll do it. Thank you, please hurry. Into the lake. Don't worry, it's shallow throughout. Three amphora flowers should be enough to make a bouquet for Neji. I'll see if I can find a ribbon or something. Bind them together. On my way! May the darkness grant you peace. Yes, okay. Grant me peace, darkness. Hey, flower. Ka-ping! Got one. Hey, um, full ear. Here you go. Get your flowers. As for Lumbra. As for Lumbra. I've been standing here mulling over what I should say to Neji next time we speak. I don't want to get tongue-tied again. I think I'll mention fishing to her. Common interests are good, right? Oh, the bouquet! I've nearly forgotten! Did you manage to gather enough amphrey flowers? Will these do? These are perfect! Really, truly perfect! I hope Neji will see my devotion to her. But I'm so nervous I can't concentrate on my fishing anymore. Thanks for your help, friend. Devotion? I gathered the flowers. We got other quests? As for Lumbra, friend. You got a new quest for me. Ugh, I can't do it. The idea of confessing everything to Neji just... It tears me apart inside. What if she says no? What will I do? Stop being such a coward. But... But... No, I can't do it. I'm too scared. Please, you've helped me before. Will you help me again? Just go to Neji and hand her the bouquet. Tell her they're from me. And that I love her. That'll be romantic of me, right? Uh, Alright, I'll do it. Oh, thank you. If Neji accepts my gift, I'll owe you everything to you. Everything! I just wish I were brave enough to speak to her directly. Can't believe I'm doing this. May the darkness grant you peace. Yeah, I hope the darkness grants me peace too. Let's go talk to her. Hey, sweetie. Your uh, secret admirer is a wimp, but he loves you. The advantage is ours. Deed. The fish are biting today. If I don't catch my quota by the end of the week, I'll have Tobu breathing down my neck. Are you one of the new raiders? I haven't seen you around here before, so what can I do for you? Somehow I doubt you've developed a taste for fishing. Here, this is for you. It's from... Bolia, right? He's about as subtle as a rampaging Vrax. It took him months to actually say hello to me. And now this. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in a guy who can't even summon enough courage to speak to me directly. I'll take the bouquet, though. It was a nice gesture, after all. I understand. Talk to Bolier. Sorry, Bolier. She doesn't like, um, sensitive fishermen. She wants a... a warrior guy. As for Lumbra, As for Lumbra, you're not gonna be really happy about this. Well... What did she say? She likes the flowers. But... I see. What was I thinking? It's plainly obvious that a beauty like Neji would never have a serious interest in me. I feel so 
so stupid. Maybe I should speak to Tobu about being reassigned somewhere else. Here, take this. I was gonna share it with Neji tonight, but it seems it won't be necessary. Ooh, thousand Kina, thank you! Kina! <laughs> okay. I don't want you guys to have to run all the way back here with me. Hey, buddy. Can't you see I'm busy? Ooh. I'll take shoes. Give the shoes. Give me. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yay, some physical defense. Magic MP. Woo! Evasion! Give me the shoes. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Let's talk to her. She's right over there. Why did he just talk to her? Good lord almighty. Was there something you needed? No. Well, yeah, I need the return to sender. Why are you here, mage? You don't seem to need soul healing. Luckily, I don't. I haven't died yet, so I don't need my soul heal just yet. <laughs> Explain yourself, or depart. You intrude upon my prayers. Ogorn read this note. But, but I don't understand. I thought I threw that note away. Hogorn actually read the note? Oh uh, no, oh no. Yes, I wrote the note, and yes, I didn't intend to give it to him, but then I had a change of heart. I knew Ogorn had recovered from his loss. I knew he wouldn't be ready for another. Whatever it would have been. How can I even look at him? I've been such a fool. Yeah, yeah, give me the money. Sorry, babe. Sorry. So much unrequited love. Sad. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, that was a close one. But I caught it, so I didn't have to edit that one out. I've edited it manually. <laughs> hey, Taylor lady. Any business with me? Yes. I have your feathers, babe. I take it you've gathered all the feathers I need to make a garment? Or you just come to pay your respect with empty words? Uh, will the feathers do? Yep. Ooh, give me the money. Give me the Kina. Kina, Kina, Kina. Let's sell some stuff we don't need. Hey. Shugos can always help. Of course you can. How about... Um, you buy that. And you buy that. I'm not gonna need that. Um, accuracy. Nope, don't need that. HP. Yeah, gonna keep that. Mm, it's a white. Mm, maybe I'll give him to someone. I'll give him to someone. So. There. Give him to some cleric. Oops. Oops. Oops, I'm done! Come back again. Nerd. Okay. Can I get your skills yet? Nice day, isn't it? I can! Oh my good golly, I can! Level 3 or higher. Who's my next one? Level 7. Well, let's get this. And that. And that. And that. Ching! Thank you! Bye bye. Glad That's good. to have met you. Mm -hmm. Let's learn our skills. Bing! Now for the fun part. Okay. This is after Flame Bolt, so. Blaze here. Flame Bolt on top of it. Now they'll fire in order, and I don't use a gazillion thing is. Erosion. Not the dot. Ooh, okay. Let's, uh... Okay, for some reason I find it just more, um... I usually hit two first. So, I guess that's my dominant finger. Yeah. Well, um...
gather, gather, gather. Gather, gather, gather. Oh, the non-stop excitement. The drama. The intrigue. <laughs> Don't mind me, little Sparkies. I'm just picking flowers. Just picking some flowers, little Sparkies. Please don't kill me! <laughs> Ooh! Eight! Yay! 